After over a decade in development, the first ever Bronx Children's Museum finally opened its doors with a ceremonial ribbon cutting. We're ex extremely excited because now we get to share our exhibit in our space with all the elected officials and people that have been very instrumental in helping us fund this project. The 13,000 square foot permanent space encourages children and their families to participate in enrichment and learning through dramatic role play, art, and scientific exploration. Throughout the museum are several exhibits inspired by different elements of the Bronx. The Waterways exhibit pays tribute to the different waterways in the Bronx, like the Bronx River and Orchard Beach. The Block exhibit is the museum's miniature barrio, complete with the farm stand and bodega. This is such a critical space for kids of the Bronx and to learn about and reflect and to show their history and to have a safe space to come to that's just filled with all kinds of examples of what makes the Bronx so great. The museum also introduced Sonia's Corner, a section that pays tribute to two Bronx trailblazers, Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor and actress best known for her work on Sesame Street, Sonia Manzano. This corner in the museum serves more as a cool down station for families as the living room style section is lined with children's books written by both Manzano and Sotomayor. This is a thank you to us for our participation with the museum that they didn't have to do. I'm very touched. For Manzano, she hopes that the children who come to the museum and read her books see representation of themselves. As someone who never saw Latino representation, she continues to make a change for the next generation, and this corner is just another step along the way. I hope that kids say, oh, that's me, or I can do that. And once they see that they're in the book and I wrote the book, they will know that they can do the same things. The Bronx Children's Museum is officially open to the public starting December 3rd. Reporting for BronxNet, Brittany Schuyler-Albain.